Hi, this is Brian, the broker in charge of Holly Puna Real Estate. Welcome to another weekly update of vacant, vacation rentals on Oahu. Pretty good week for new listings. We've had uh, 10 new properties, and then uh, there was 11 sold properties this past week. 10 were cash, one was conventional. And on that note, if you are um, actively looking for a vacation rental on Oahu, please understand it is extremely competitive right now, especially if you're a, um, a buyer using financing. Um, and that's just based on my experience where I've, I've had some clients recently making some um, offers based on financing, very, very aggressive in the terms, um, significantly above list price, even having a um, appraisal clause in there with no cap. So if the unit, the appraisal comes in low, um, the buyer has to bring cash to close and still sellers are accepting cash offers uh, vast majority of the time, even at amounts quite a bit lower than my, my clients are, are offering incredibly. So again, if you um, look to buy a unit here, um, I'm happy to assist you and be of service to you any way I can. But if you are uh, using financing, um, just realize it's very competitive and your, your first, second, third offer may not be accepted, unfortunately. That's just the way the market is right now. Lastly, um, before I jump into covering all these units is that if you go into the description of this video, there are Airbnb links for most of the these buildings here, except for Trump Waikiki and Ritz Carlton. But you can click on the link, see kind of what a property is renting for in that building and what occupancy rates are. And also Trump Tower, initially they were, they were, they were gonna change the name to Waikia, but there was um, some risk resistance here from some people. So now the uh, hotel operator is now uh, rebranding the name, the building to uh, Kalai Waikiki Beach. So eventually this is going to be updated in the MLS, but the uh, correct name of the Trump Waikiki is now Kalai Waikiki Beach. All right, let's get started here with um, this first unit over at Kuhio. So this studio is on the sixth floor, priced at 330000 so one of the larger floor plans, 286 square feet. Here's the monthly dues and what it covers here. Very nice unit. I mean, one of the nicer ones for sure I've seen at the Kuhio. And this is a really unique uh, color scheme they're doing with that gray, gray ceiling. But uh, me, I think it works really well. And I do like this floor plan where you have this kind of a galley kitchen, two lanai's. I think this is gonna go very quickly based on the layout and, as, and how beautiful the unit is. Uh, moving on to Island Colony, it's on the 15th floor. It's another studio, 302 square feet, price of 365,000. Here's your monthly views here and what it covers. This has Canal City and Mountain Views. Another looks like a pretty nice unit over at Island Colony. Definitely some custom finishes. Original kitchenette. Um, I would definitely replace and same with the bathroom. And I'm definitely not a fan of carpet in, the, in, in Hawaii. It's just with the moisture, it gets dirty really easily, poten potentially mold. So I'd highly recommend changing that to some um, laminate flooring tile. But not too bad. And uh, I think that's a pretty good price. Trump Waikiki, this is a studio, 10th floor. 492 square feet. Um, Trump, well, I gotta, I gotta get now uh, used to saying the new name, uh, Kalai, has some really nice sized studios in the building. This one's at 492 square feet, price of 420,000 monthly dues here and what it covers. And this has city and ocean views. Um, as I've mentioned in prior videos, I'm not gonna go into units in detail at Trump or Ritz because they really don't make the best investment opportunities for most clients. But if you want more information, just contact me directly. Uh, another studio here on the 18th floor at the Royal Garden at Waikiki, 352 square feet, price at 430. Um, this was just remodeled this year. Canal, marina views, mountain views, monthly dues here and what it covers. I'm a big fan of this building. It's really, a, I really like the common areas. Um, this is a nice looking studio. Only thing I really kind of, just, attracts me from this building is I'll show you the pictures and I'll show you the location, but nicely done here. I mean, really some uh, quality finishes in my opinion. Trying to see, uh, so 
I mean, I love this the lobby area. This has a nice look to it. But the location, it's uh, between Kuhio and um, Alawai. So right here, up at Olohana. I mean, it's not the worst location, but I prefer uh, vacation rental buildings in other parts of Waikiki. But I mean, it's a popular, definitely popular building, um, as you can tell from the price for a studio. But I, I do wish it was in a different location. Uh, moving on to Bamboo on the third floor. This is a one bed, one bath, 489 square feet, price at 450. Not a bad price in my opinion. Um, it does have high, high monthly fees though, almost a little over 1450 a month. But electricity is covered, which is nice. And the only other one bedroom that uh, was on the market at Bamboo just went in escrow yesterday. Um, if you're interested in that one, you can check out, I think it was last week's video went on the market. This one is not in the same condition. I preferred the other one that just went in escrow much better. But the way the market is, um, wouldn't be surprised to see them get this price or very close to it. Uh, another studio, uh, Kalai, eighth floor, very spacious, 557 square feet. 480,000 monthly dues though, almost over 2,000. Um, again, contact me if you'd like more information on that property. Here's another uh, studio, 10, 19th floor, uh, 492 square feet, $498,000. Some nice views you can see from this picture. Waikiki Sunset. This is on the 16th floor, price at 688, one bed, one bath with parking, 534 square feet. Does come with an NUC permit, um, which uh, does have some value. And I think based on market conditions, this is priced quite well. Uh, I'm amused by this comment that rec recently renovated. I just don't see what they're talking about because it has a hotel furnishings. Um, and I don't know what they did or maybe they, this is a original carpet, but maybe they uh, redid it, but I really don't see what they did to uh, update the unit in my opinion i would definitely um do a full remodel of that of that of the unit and this unit does have our excuse me this building does have a special assessment coming up this year they are replacing um the ac coils in all the units um here's your dues here and so currently electricity in, um, is included and the units do have ac central um next year Supposedly, the owners will be responsible for um, electricity because they have completed submetering the units. But um, the special assessment is for the AC coil, and it looks like it's going to be around maybe 10 grand per unit, but that has not been finalized. Suppose it's going to be finalized uh, next month. But I think that'll go into escrow rather quickly. Uh, eighth floor, Waikiki Banyan, 728,000, one bed, one bath. Does come with parking, city diamond head views. Um, your monthly fees, what it covers. Well, like six months ago, I would have thought that they were crazy asking this price, especially for city mountain views. But the way the market is, this might sit on the market a little bit, but I would definitely think it's going to sell above 700000 Note here, this is all going to be remodeled starting this year and supposedly Q1 of 2025 is when it's going to be finalized. And... They're doing this in three stages. The third stage is going to be the one that's going to be um, affect the guests the most. And that's when they're really going to be doing, I think, um, the pool deck work. So just keep that in mind if you are looking to buy in the building or if you currently own. But yeah, uh, we'll see what that sells for. But Banyan is still super, super hot. Elikai on the 14th floor. This is a one bed, one bath, 500 square feet, price of 899000 I would have, I mean, I still think this is really a high price, but this is a really beautiful um, built unit. Monthly dues are 728. This is what it covers. One of the nicest units in the building, they say, and I do agree with this for a one bedroom. Really a quality job here. And I like the stack with the westward facing views. They did a beautiful job on the bathroom. We'll see in a moment. Really like that uh, tile walk-in shower and the colors they use. But that is a premium they're asking. 
Yeah, we'll see if they get that. I, I'm guessing they're going to get close to it. I mean, Elikai has been quite hot as well. All right, moving on to Seoul. This is a studio or island colony on the 23rd floor, 302 square feet. Price, uh, excuse me, sold at 335, 125 days on the market. Another one, Island Colony on the 23rd floor, list, sold at list price, five days on the market, 292 square feet. Actually, I'm pretty surprised at this one. I wasn't too keen on the um, interior that it sold for that amount. Uh, Trump Waikiki, studio, 22nd floor, 365,000, 60 days on the market, which is pretty quick, the studio's in that building. Palms at Waikiki on the 11th floor, 69 days on the market price, excuse me, sold for 370. It's a studio that was 323 square feet. Bamboo, this is a really impressive price here. Four and 5,000, this is a new record for a studio at Bamboo. This was really nice. I'll show you some pictures here. So this was a self-managed unit and they did a wonderful job first on the remodel and a great job as well as managing it. Um, some of the financials they saw from 2023, they were doing, um, the top month was 7,900 gross. A couple other months were in the 7,000s. And that to me is really incredible for a studio at Bamboo. Now, when I say gross, that includes cleaning and your your taxes, which add over 18%. Uh, well, 18 about 18% just in the taxes alone and then your, your cleaning fee. But... Yeah, they did a really nice job here. So congrats to them on what a great sales price, 405. And that just shows if you can um, manage a unit that really outperforms other units in the building, you can demand a premium resell the property. Island Colony, 34th floor, studio, 280 square feet, 59 days on the market, sold at list price. Waikiki Banyan, Tower One on the 14th floor, 557 square feet, 28 days on the market. Sold for seven hundred eighteen thousand. Uh, Ritz Carlton. It's another studio, very spacious, six hundred seventy-four square feet on seventeenth floor, eighty-four days on the market, seven hundred sixty-five thousand. Studios. Well, most units at Ritz kind of li linger the same amount of time as Trump, aka Kalai. Uh, Waikiki Banyan uh, Tower Two, Malka Tower on the twenty-ninth floor, five hundred thirty-three square feet, eleven days on the market. Sold for 770. This to me is not a bad price here, given that one just went on the mark uh, after one day went into escrow price at 898, just uh, eight floors higher. I think this is a pretty good price here for sure. And that was cash, yeah. Uh, Ely kind of 19th floor, 790,000, nine days on the market. This is a one bed, one bath. And lastly, uh, 2465 Cujillo, ninth floor, 876 square feet for a two bed, two bath, came with parking, sold for this price, cash. They did give a $15,000 credit though. I do have a client interest in this one, but um, it sounded like it would be very, very competitive. So I was actually thinking this might sell a little higher than this based on how competitive I told it was gonna be. But there you have it for the week. Um, any questions, uh, you're always welcome to contact me anytime. Again, thank you for watching my channel and you take care.